Voyager just entered deep space and sent back this terrifying message. There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Every day it is possible to find something new and exciting, big or small, in the most extreme places on Earth. Some take us to different planets and tell us about the cosmos. Some tell us about our histories, but all of them leave us eager to learn more. However, the Voyager spacecraft is sending back some funky data from interstellar space that's leaving NASA engineers scratching their heads. But what are these strange messages? And should we be worried? Let's find out! Welcome to Space World! In today's video, we are going to talk about the terrifying messages being sent by Voyager after entering deep space. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Something weird has been happening on board one of the most iconic NASA spacecraft of the 20th century. Voyager 1 is a certified space soarer, coming up on half a century of flight time and still going strong. But it has been beaming back an abnormal message to NASA, and they're scrambling to understand why. According to sources, the signal from the computer that keeps Voyager 1's antenna pointed towards Earth is sending back erroneous number sequences such as rows of zeros. Mission team members like project manager Suzanne Dodd, who began working on the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft 38 years ago as her first job out of college in 1984, are trying to figure out what is happening on this faraway probe. Is it aliens? Inverse asks Dodd, most jokingly and just to get it out of the way. No, I don't think so, she says after laughing. It's something in the circuitry, she says. Which, if you think of 45-year-old circuitry, it's amazing that it's working at all. Voyager 1 is currently navigating through interstellar space. It passed the border of the solar wind's dominion in space, called the Heliopause, back in 2012. However, the spacecraft is still within the Sun's gravitational grasp and hasn't left the solar system. The probe can detect when something is wrong, Dodd says. As Voyager 1 wades through the edge of our cosmic lake, where the magnetic field of the Sun interacts with the interstellar medium in ways that are yet to be fully understood, things might happen. This hinterland is ripe with astronomical data that is yet to be harvested. So the old machinery on Voyager 1 needs to be able to take care of itself. It has a lot of ability to autonomously detect what's wrong and put itself in a safe situation, Dodd said, remarking on the current situation. But it hasn't gone into any kind of fault protection, which tells us that the spacecraft thinks it's just fine. It's just that for some reason it started speaking a different language that we don't understand, she says with a laugh. Now, talking about its situation, the problem seemed to be coming from the Attitude Articulation and Control System AACS, computer on board Voyager 1. One of three on the spacecraft, this computer is responsible for Voyager 1's orientation, like controlling its thrusters and keeping the high-gain antenna pointed towards Earth so that data about the interstellar medium keeps trickling back. The team can steer the spacecraft, and that, paired with the signal's strength and lack of fault protection activation, tells them that Voyager 1 is doing well, but the telemetry signal itself did not make any sense. Producing either all zeros or the number 377, Dodd says. If the spacecraft was in dire straits, we would be seeing a degradation in our signal from the spacecraft, she says, which they aren't seeing. Somewhere in the interface with the flight data system, there's something that's causing the telemetry data to be mixed up, I guess, or nonsensical, Dodd says. And we don't understand that yet. So, how did they treat the problem? Don says the next step to diagnose the problem comes in two steps. Investigating the root cause of the anomaly is step number one. So if they can do that, then they can decide what they want to do going forward, if they want to reset anything or if they want to switch to some of the backup hardware. Because according to its creators, they do have redundancy on these systems, even after 45 years. But that decades-long timescale is nevertheless working against them. Dodd says that the people who designed Voyager 1's circuitry and drew up its design are likely retired or have since passed away. Therefore, there's a reasonable chance that they won't know what caused this anomaly. And in that case, they've moved forward slowly, doing things to re-establish their normal operations. 
or she says we might not ever be able to clear these telemetry issues. But then, it's just a matter of living with the new puzzling but non-dangerous reality. It just makes it more difficult if we don't know what the anomaly is, and you have to make it more measured in your steps going forward to make sure you don't do anything too risky that would jeopardize the spacecraft, Dodd says. But one thing's for sure, Voyager 1 is still beaming back science data every day. All operations have no end in sight. First and foremost, Dodd says, we will obviously continue to operate the spacecraft. So NASA's Voyager 1 is on a fraught and unknowable journey into deep space. Some 14.6 billion miles from Earth, it and its sister craft, Voyager 2, are the furthest human-made objects from our planet, having made it beyond the edges of the solar system and out into the interstellar medium. At such distances, anything can go wrong. Add to that the fact that these are old crafts. The Voyagers launched in the 1970s, so when Voyager 1 started to send home weird, garbled nonsense instead of telemetry data in May of this year, NASA engineers might have been forgiven for calling it a day and pouring one out for perhaps the most successful space mission of all time. But that's not how NASA works. Instead, they started working on a remote diagnosis and fix for the record-breaking spacecraft. Now, some four months later, they are triumphant. Voyager 1 is back online and communicating perfectly with ground control as if it had never happened. In fact, the fix turned out to be relatively simple. Or as simple as anything can be with a 22-hour communications lag in each direction and billions of miles of space in between. Cruising in interstellar space, the 45-year-old spacecraft appeared to be operating shockingly well and was transmitting reams of data back to Earth. But in mid-May, Voyager 1's onboard system responsible for keeping its high-gain antenna pointed at Earth, known as the Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, started beaming home confusing jumbles of data instead of the usual reports about the spacecraft's health and status. From our viewpoint, it appeared as if the spacecraft had developed something like an electronic version of aphasia a condition that causes the loss of fluent speech. The data may appear to be randomly generated, or does not reflect any possible state the AACS could be in, explained NASA in a statement from the time. Even more bafflingly for engineers, Voyager 1 appeared to be in perfect condition, despite the spacecraft's bizarre status reports. The radio signal from the ship remained strong and steady, which meant the antenna was still pointed at Earth and not in whatever configuration the AACS was claiming it was into NASA in the reports. Similarly, Voyager 1's science systems kept gathering and transmitting data as usual, without any of the same strangeness affecting the AACS. And whatever was wrong with the AACS didn't tip a fault protection system designed to put the spacecraft in safe mode when there's a glitch. Thankfully, NASA engineers diagnosed the problem, and with the diagnosis, they could employ a cure. It turned out that the AACS had started sending its telemetry data via an onboard computer that had stopped working years ago. The dead computer corrupted all the outgoing data. All NASA engineers had to do was send the command to the AACS to use the correct computer to send its data home. But there's still a problem. The next challenge will be to figure out exactly what caused the AACS to switch computers in the first place. NASA says the system probably received a faulty command from another onboard computer. While they say it's not a major concern for Voyager 1's well-being right now, the true culprit will need to be found and fixed to prevent future weirdness. So, for the last decade, Voyager 1 has been cruising in interstellar space beyond the reach of our sun's magnetic field. The field had offered the craft a little protection from cosmic rays and other interstellar radiation, much as Earth's magnetic field offers some protection from high-energy particles and radiation from the Sun. Cosmic rays are known to interfere with electronics here on Earth. When one of those high-speed energetic particles strikes a computer chip, it can cause small memory errors, which add up over time. And it's reasonable to expect that to be an issue for Voyager 1's onboard computers, too. So we'll need to wait and see what new perils encounter Voyager on its travels, and what new discoveries await. And this is it for today, guys! What are your thoughts on today's video? 
Share your views with us in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.